Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Bitcoin in less than five minutes here in 2025, even with Bitcoin being at all time highs. So if that's something that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn more and keep more of the Bitcoin that you mine here in 2025, allowing you to build your holdings even faster and be more prepared for the Bitcoin bull run. Also, if you haven't already, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to Bitcoin Tips. It really does help us out and allow us to provide these videos for free here on YouTube for you. So thank you for doing that and let's jump in. So I do always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the crypto markets as a point of reference, if you happen to be watching this in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the site and tutorial then. Overall, as you can see, crypto has had a really good day. Total market cap is 3.6 trillion, which is up just over 4.1% today. And of course, leading that is Bitcoin up 4.13% today to a new all time high or right around a new all time high of $115,567. Clicking into here, uh, you can see that it was just slightly higher earlier today at about six one $116,608, so about $1,000 higher, but still, we have not seen Bitcoin this high ever before. So super cool. With that, I want to talk about how you can mine Bitcoin at home using your Windows based computer, whether it be CPU or GPU. Or even if you have a Mac or Linux computer, you can follow along and start mining. So we're going to be using a site called Unminable. Now, if you're not familiar with Unminable, I want to give a quick intro to it before we dive in. But overall, it's a site that does pretty much what the name says. It allows you to mine coins that are not traditionally mineable, or in this case, Bitcoin traditionally mineable, but requires very, very powerful computers such as ASICs um, that are very loud, a lot of electricity, a lot of heat, and a lot of maintenance. Well, not everybody has the ability to run those, and a lot of people do still have have gaming computers, work computers um, that sit off for 12 plus hours a day while you're asleep, while you're at work, whatever it might be. So this is a way to monetize that extra hardware that you already have and allow you to start earning. So the way they do that is they actually have you pick an algorithm that's profitable for your computer. You mine on that algorithm and they go ahead and collect the coins that you mine, convert them to Bitcoin and pay you out. So the main benefit to doing this versus either just mining Bitcoin up straight up or purchasing Bitcoin is one, you don't have to have expensive ASIC computers. You can do this with your everyday CPU or GPU. And the other main benefit over just buying Bitcoin is this is free. It's using the computer that you already have. And yes, it will increase your electricity bill, but you're not going out there and spending your hard earned money on Bitcoin. So that could be appealing to some people. Now, I mentioned at the beginning that this takes five minutes or less to set up and get running. So let's get started with this. So the link to Unminable is down in the description below. I highly recommend you use that link because it will save you 25% uh, on your pool mining fee here, which is awesome, which we'll talk about in just a minute. But once you're here on the site, go ahead and select Get Started with our guided setup two options basic and advanced we can go ahead and say basic i'm going to go the gpu route if you are following along on a windows computer that you want to use to mine with the cpu or you're following along on a mac go ahead and choose the cpu option and what i'd actually recommend is switch over to my how to mine crypto using mac os video even if you're using a windows computer the process is pretty much the same and it's going to be a little bit more tailored than this video will be to mining with that mac or cpu then what you're going to do is select the mining algorithm that's best and most profitable for your hardware this is going to be something that's different for everybody. I'm going to go with Kapow, but I do recommend going over to whattomine.com. Check out what hardware you have, put it into the calculator there, and it'll tell you the best and most profitable algorithm so that you know you're getting the most out of your computer hardware. 
Then what you're going to do is choose the coin or token you want to mine, which of course is Bitcoin. You go ahead and enter in your wallet address. As you can see here, um, there is no call out if this address is correct or incorrect. So please double and triple check this address. I'd hate to see you mine, get to that payout level, and then end up just not getting the money because you didn't enter the address incorrectly. So please triple check this address. And the final step before downloading everything and getting started here is the referral code. Now, if you use the link in the description below, that will already be populated like you saw on screen here with my Bitcoin tips referral code. But if you didn't use that and still want to get the 25% off, go ahead and enter in the code. It's Bitcoin dash tips, capital B, capital T. So here on Unminable, there is a 1% pool mining fee, uh, meaning that if you mine 100 Bitcoin, not only are you going to be pretty happy, but one of those Bitcoin is going to go to Unminable. And in this case, you just don't get that extra Bitcoin. So by using this code, you actually reduce the fee down to 0.75%. So for every 100 coins that you mine, you're going to get 99.25 instead of just 99. So while it might not sound like a lot, it is still a 25% discount. So feel free to use that or continue without it. The final step here is downloading everything and starting the miner. So I'm going to go with the G miner option here. I highly recommend this one as it's the one that I have the most experience using. It supports both major GPU manufacturers, so there shouldn't be any hardware compatibility issues, but there are a bunch of other options that do pretty much the same thing. Um, so feel free to choose what you are most comfortable with. But what you're going to go ahead and do is select download minor files. This will bring you to the GitHub where you just download this Windows 64 zip file. Once this is downloaded, make sure you extract the files. If you don't extract the files, you're going to get an error right away when we go to start the miner, which we'll talk about in just a second. So if that's something you're running into, make sure you didn't forget to extract the files. And then what you're going to do is jump back over here to uh, the unminable page where you come make sure it is aligned under G minor or whatever minor you go with select this blue download.bat file button the one up here for NB minor will not work for G minor so make sure that that button is aligned to the one that you have chosen once you go ahead and download this you'll notice that Google Chrome has called this out and said hey this file is unverified are you sure you want to continue you will have to select this warning and select download unverified file if you want to continue now if this is something you are not comfortable with simply select delete from history and move on to something else in crypto unfortunately there is no workaround for this and it is just part of mining so um, just make sure that it's something you're okay with then what you're going to do is just drag and drop this into the folder with the files you just extracted. So as you can see here, I have my unminable BTC Kapow Gminer.bat. And at this point, you are ready to get up and running. All you have to do is double click this file. Now you will get a pop up here that says Windows has protected your PC. Again, if you want to continue, you will have to say more info and run anyway. If this is something you're not comfortable with, again, simply select don't run, delete the files, and move on to something else in crypto. But if you are okay with that, go ahead and say run anyway. And just like that, in less than five minutes, we are up and running mining Bitcoin using my RTX 3070 here in 2025 at home. So it is really that simple to get started. Now there are just a few final things I want to mention about mining with Unminable here. When you start the miner, as long as you're seeing pretty much what is on screen here, blue text, yellow text, green text, nothing too crazy, no red text, no errors, you are up and running and mining. Now it does take about 15 to 30 minutes for the stats to populate on the addresses tab here on the website. Um, so if you don't see anything right away, that's completely normal. Give it about a half an hour and you should start to see things populate. If you're still not seeing things after that time, double check your addresses, make sure you got everything pasted in correctly. Um, and maybe if that still doesn't work, go back through the setup process and make sure everything is working properly. And on the other end, when you are ready to be done mining, all you have to do is find this CMD window and hit the red X. That will close out the CMD window and you are no longer mining. Now you might be thinking, why am I telling you how to close a window? That should hopefully be the easiest part of this whole process. 
Well, when you're mining with Unminable, if you've been running for a little while, you will actually close out that miner and may continue to see stats and even payments into your on-site balance for up to 12 hours or longer after stopping the miner. So I have seen the question in the past of, hey, you know, I stopped this miner, but I'm still getting paid. What's going on? Is it mining in the background? The answer is no. It's just part of mining that the shares you've submitted, because it's with a pool, you will continue to get some payments and even show some stats for some time after stopping the miner. I can personally say I turned off a miner, unplugged the computer from the wall, and the next morning I was still getting paid. So there was no way for that computer to be mining, so it is just part of the experience. And hey, you're getting a little bit of extra cryptocurrency and not technically mining, so I wouldn't be too upset. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you get started mining cryptocurrency using Unminable. And if I forgot to mention, if you do run into any issues throughout this whole process, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Just make sure to include any specific errors that you are getting so that I can best troubleshoot and help get you up and running. So again, thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and liking this video. It really does help us out and allow us to provide these videos for free free here on YouTube. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video.